Welcome back to Universal Studios Orlando. Today is a spectacular day because today David's introducing me to a few new rides that I have never tried before here at Universal. One of them, the Hulk. Now there is a spot David and I have heard nothing but great reviews about here at Universal. It's Cowfish right there, Sushi Burger Bar right there. We're gonna try it tonight. We have reservations after the park closes. So I think that's a key right there, Cowfish after the Hulk. I have a feeling the Hulk's gonna be super intense. I haven't eaten anything in a little while, so I think we're gonna be all right on the Hulk, but it's gonna be super intense, no doubt about it. Now we're here at Universal after the work day. Time is now 5.42 in the evening, and believe it or not, the other park, the Universal Orlando Park over there, now we're going to Islands of Adventure, the other one closes at 6 p.m. today. 6 p.m., That to me, that is unbelievably early. So we'll have to take a look at Islands of Adventure with the time that we have. It closes at 7 p.m., so we'll make the most of every moment. As we enter in Islands of Adventure, I always really like this theming. You can see kind of that moss growing over the bridge here, the theming of the shops all around. You can see it's a super low crowd time of year. I, it's just amazing to me. I really miss these kind of low crowds at Walt Disney World, I'm telling you. But I think that's partially because it closes so much earlier. So Dave, do you think I'm going to like the Hulk? I think you'll like it. You think so? Yeah. One out of 10. Out of 10, mm, depends how you like intense rides. I mean, just look at it. It's just, it, it's got all those upside down. I mean, it looks far more intense than Rock and Roller Coaster. Would you say it's more intense? I think so. Yeah. Okay, all right, so here we go. Let you know all about it. We actually have to go through a metal detector. That's how intense it is. You can't bring on any metal because it can fly off and hurt someone. We wouldn't want that. So GoPro, batteries for the GoPro in my pocket, everything goes in the metal detector and we'll let you know all about it. Look at this, it goes up, it goes around, it goes down, it goes over and over and then comes all the way around and then over there, goes over and over and over and over and over. It's just, it's just a ton of flips. That was crazy, crazy intense. We just rode on the Hulk, gotta tell you, one of the most intense rides I have ever been on. You, you get off, you're almost dizzy with the amount of times it's flipping you and spinning you and you're all over the place. It was super, super intense. I gotta be honest, I cannot see myself doing it like again and again. I'd do it a few more times, I would, but not like over and over again. I feel like rock and roller coasters just enough where it's like I'll do it over and over again. This one's like crazy intensity. What did you think, Dave? I always like this one. I feel like it's got a nice consistent intensity. Fair enough, it, it never lets you go. You just keep on going around and around and around. It's, it's extremely intense. Just make sure you know that you like intensity for this one. Now David's telling me that Rip Ride Rocket is even more intense than the Hulk. Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna be going on Rip Ride Rocket. I mean, maybe one day I'll just go on it just to say I went on it, but not, not for a little while, not, not for a little while. In Seuss Landing, now we're gonna try something that David has never tried before. What's it called, the Flyers? Something like Sneetches In, but it's not Sneetches In. Oh, huh. let's figure out what it's called. It's like the people mover for Seuss Landing. Right. Okay, we're doing that. It's amazing, 6.15 in the evening, five minute waits for everything around Seuss Landing. It's the high in the sky Seuss Trolley train ride. Five minute wait, oh no, excuse me, whoop, 15 minute wait, let's wait a minute. Very interesting queue right here, you can see this machine right here, very cool, you kind of walk all around it. We're gonna get to this line over there, it's gonna take us a minute, you can see we have to follow the queue all the way around. But a very, very interesting queue right here. I think I've read this one of Dr. Seuss's books, but very cool to see. Here we are. Oh, wow, you can see him in there working on that machine. Wow. Here comes our train right here. And here we go. Neech Beach is where we're going. Look at this, there's a restaurant here. We can sit down in there, and then we're kind of like the people who are going over them. Wow. Wow. Oh, we're outside now. Oh, now we're back inside. Oh my god. Wow. There's the ham right there for green eggs and ham. Take a look. You can see the whole coaster all lit up there. That's awesome. Take a look right there. Very cool. Very nice story talking about whether you have a star or not, you're still special. Very, very nice. I like this one. It's a great kind of overview of Seuss Land. Very, very cool little ride around Seuss Landing. I liked it and a great story to it where all the Seuss Sneetches are the same, you know, whether they have the star or not. I like that. Good message to the whole story. Dave, what'd you think? 
Definitely a fun one. It was more of a broad story than I was expecting. It wasn't just about the Sneetches, but about all the Dr. Seuss stories. Definitely a cool one. I really like that you could see like that cafeteria area like as we're going over it was not open right now but maybe in the future we'll go over it and it'll be open very cool very interesting to see 19 minutes left in islands of adventures operating hours and there are crowds pouring out of this area right here making our way towards forbidden journey to end the night back in hogsmeade now making our way towards forbidden journey we're going to double check see if there are any openings left for hagrid's waterbike adventure we actually saw a 90 minute wait earlier so we'll see here we go harry potter and forbidden journey could this be the shortest queue ever for harry potter's forbidden journey it says 10 minutes and so far we have not run into the line it's pretty dark in there we'll see where we do run into that line here we are in this hallway walking in with the entrance to the headmaster's office right ahead of us no line oh my gosh we are now in the professor bims area and there is no line at all this is where you see harry hermione and ron no line at all i cannot believe this could forbidden journey be a walk-on tonight here we are oh my gosh it looks like we're just about a walk-on gotta put the gopro away but unbelievable it was a great ride forbidden journey always love that one now universal islands of adventure is closed and the other park is too so we're gonna make our way towards dinner and cowfish a show i've never seen before here the harry potter hogwarts show projected on the castle super super cool show on the hogwarts castle the sorting hat show there were fireworks too i really really liked it overall very very impressed by that one great evening here at islands of adventure now we're headed to the one the only we're headed to cowfish are you excited david oh yes yeah, so excited are you looking forward to the sushi or the burgers mm. or both 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 all right well i'm excited about both too i'm gonna go off server recommendations and your recommendations we're gonna see what happens. I'm very excited about this meal. I really like this theming right across from the Mythos restaurant. You can see that lamp right there is kind of fractured at the top, but it's supposed to look like that. Very, very cool. And here we are in City Walk 726 in the evening. Time for cowfish. David and I are looking around. We're gonna try cowfish tonight because we have a reservation, but there are a lot of spots we wanna try around here in City Walk. There's a lot of different options to try, so lots of reviews coming. Take a look, there's a lot of people out here trying to get into cowfish right now. Good thing we made reservations. A lot of delicious looking items here from specialty rolls, burgers, sushi combos, bento boxes, and oh my gosh, burger ushi. Oh my gosh, they have, wait a minute. Wow, they have sushi and burger together. Oh, 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 oh. All right, so I'm gonna go off our service recommendations, but right outside, the burger ushi, the burger plus sushi looks incredible. The what shake and tuna bacon sandwich just Oh my gosh. Inside Cowfish right now, we can actually build a fish right here as we're waiting. That is so cool looking, you can even move his hat around. Give him glasses. That is, that is amazing. This is such cool technology inside Cowfish. Send fish to the aquarium right now. So you send him into the tank and then maybe we'll see him in there. That's so cool. And here we are at the top. Oh my gosh, what a restaurant. And there it is, there's the tank. So fish we made downstairs will appear in the tank somewhere. They have a lot of people who are trying to eat here. We had a reservation for 7.45, almost eight o'clock now. We'll keep on waiting. Hopefully we get seated soon. 8.04, we're being seated now. Seated now, and based on our server John's recommendations, I'm getting the All-American Burgushi, and David's getting the Tuna Burgushi. It looks really, really good. Cannot wait to try it all. Sure enough, David's got the Tuna Bacon Burger right there. It looks very, very interesting. Combination of all sorts of things and fries on the side. I've got the All-American Sushi Roll. Very, very interesting. Some amazing looking combinations here. Let's dig in. Here it is, my All-American Sushi Sushi roll, bon appetit. That is the most interesting flavor I've had in a long time. It tastes like a burger. A burger with mustard and ketchup. It's got rice in there too. Super strange flavor. I like it, I don't dislike it, it's just weird. It's really weird. My American sushi roll is good, but now I want to try some of David's tuna burger. It's amazing. That is interesting. Very, very interesting. I like it. I don't even know what the flavor is and I like it. Taste some of the crab in there. Imitation crab meat, I think. With tuna, 
with these little bacon in there, the lettuce. It goes really well. Flavors are great, and I like it. But it's it's almost extremely it's extremely difficult to describe. Really unique flavors here. I personally prefer mine. I'm not sure I'd get either of them again, though. I think I would stick with just kind of like a burger or a sushi flavor because it is a really unique blend. Not like blown away by it. I do like this one a lot, but I think I'd probably stick with a classic burger or classic sushi. Um, but not bad. Couldn't agree more. I do like them. I do. Flavors are good. But next time we're at Cowfish, definitely trying some traditional sushi or burger. So overall, Cowfish, really good. Not the best I've ever had, though. Do want to come back, try some other food in the future. What really impressed me, you're going to laugh, but what really impressed me were the paper straws. Thinking to yourself, Michael, paper straws, I thought you were like trying to fix that. This paper straw has lasted me the entire night. Yep, not, not bending. It's, it's holding strong the entire night. Okay, so we need this kind of paper straw, uh, whatever they have here at Cowfish, all over. Not the ones that fall to mush within five minutes. We've been sitting here for a little while. But we sat down at 8.04, right? Time is now 8.41. So almost 40 minutes and the straw is holding strong. We need that kind of straw everywhere. Helping the environment and not drinking through mush. That's what I'm talking about. A super fun night here at Universal. The Hulk was crazy and intense. We rode a couple other rides as well, including Forbidden Journey. Saw that show and Cowfish was really good, but we'll definitely try Cowfish again in the future with just burger or just sushi. Thanks for sharing in the magic with us today. It was a lot of fun sharing it all with you. Until next time. Have a magical day. I'll see you real soon.